Educators and administrators are entrusted with our island's youth, and because of this, they are held to a higher standard of conduct. Today, training continued for the Department of Education with a focus on educator misconduct. Georgia Professional Standards Commission Chief Investigator John Grant. Teachers are held to a high standard, and each year, it's good to come in and, and remind teachers that they have a very precious charge. The, the kids and the, the students of, uh, of, uh, of, of, the, of the island of Guam. And the expectation is these t students are treated with the utmost respect. Teachers and administrators were familiarized with the standards or code of ethics. And according to Grant, there are 10 standards adopted by Guam, which includes professional conduct, legal compliance, conduct with students, alcohol and drugs, and public funds and property. I like to look at the code of ethics like the code of common sense. Use good common sense, you're not going to violate the code of ethics. However, life happens, and life happens to educators just like it happens to anyone else. Sometimes bad judgment or poor decisions by an educator can cause some ramifications in their professional life. He says educators should keep their personal life and professional life separate. When the personal life uh, carries over into the professional life, sometimes there's conflict and um, that's when the PS or that's when the commission becomes concerned about the uh, about the educators conduct. Conflicts which may result in misconduct and an investigation by the Guam Commission for Education Certification. The idea is that there is some body, a commission that the uh, that these uh, parents, the school system, whoever, can say, we want someone to scrutinize this conduct and find out if this is something that deserves this person to have a sanction on their certificate. He says these standards are in place to protect the learning environment, the student, and the teaching profession. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez. Yeah.